Hi gorgeous, welcome back to Vitalia Style. Today I recreated this look for you, which is the look I was wearing in my drugstore fall favorites. Sorry, I keep looking at my hair because it looks so frizzy. Um, so many people asked to see a tutorial, so I figured I would do it for you. It's really easy. It's incorporating um, this this palette, that, this little cloth from Maybelline I'm I was talking about. Um, and oh! Don't tell me. It's all good, right? And this shadow, this infallible shadow in Smoked Smoldering Plum from uh, Maybelline? L'Oreal? L'Oreal, from L'Oreal. And uh, this lip color I talked about in that video, just a lot of the uh, pieces, a lot of the things I talked about in that video I'm incorporating today. I love the way this look, this look came out and I was so thrilled when you guys went to see a tutorial on it. So, oh, I have to show you my shirt. Hashtag Simply Laura. And this was sent to me by one of my sweet subscribers, Anthony. So thank you so much if you're watching. I love it. Yeah. Do I have anything else to say? No. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. First things first, some Too Faced Shadow Insurance on the eyelids. Please forgive that you can still see a little bit of glue onto my uh, lash band, onto my whatever, onto my lashes. It. Uh, I've been wearing false lashes quite a bit this week, so... It's been quite difficult and I can't really scrub my eyes because otherwise it irritates them. So I just gently every day take um, Q-tips and dip them in a makeup remover and just, you know, try and get it off that way. I'm going to go in with this Milani Shadow Eyes and a Sonia Kashuk Dome Brush. Sorry about that. And I'm going to pop this all over my lid and blend it out. Okay, for the first shadow, I'm going to take this Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in Nude Romance. I'm just going to take this matte cream shadow on a large shader brush from Sigma. And I'm going to pop this all over the lid. And also, I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight in a minute. So, pop that on. And then going in with this color right here, just like light brown color on a Sigma E35. And I'm gonna pop this into the grease, into the crease. This is gonna be our like transition color. Now the Sigma E25 and this little quad, this is in the color Cozy Cashmere. I'm gonna go in with this matte, like burnt orange color. I'm gonna pop that onto my brush. And I'm gonna tap that into the outer, like third of the eye and start buffing it in. You don't want like a definite line there, so kind of like run it back and forth. We are gonna blend things out with a bigger brush in a minute, but just pop that on. I'm back in with my Sigma E35, and now I'm just gonna really blend things out. I'm then gonna take like a fluffy crease brush and then this color right here, which is kind of like a matte maroon. Pop that on. And I'm just gonna intensify things a little bit. I am gonna go in with like a deep plum color in just a minute, but I want like a gradient effect. I don't want like burnt orange to the very deep plum. So this is kind of like in the middle. And then I'm taking a, like a Precision tapered blending brush. This is the E45 from Sigma and my L'Oreal Infallible in, in smolder, Smoldering Plum. That's what it looks like. Be careful because this is really, really dark. It's like borderline black almost, but it's just gorge. I'm going to pop that right into the outer crease. That's the only place I'm really going to place this just to intensify things a little bit, but you can see. It's really dark, so be careful. And you can see I just switched my brush to this side just to not add too, too much product. And I am gonna blend this out, of course, but I don't want it to be too, too dark. And then I'm gonna take that E35 again with whatever's left on it because that just makes the blending a little bit easier. And just blend back and forth until you have the intensity you like. And if you want this really dark, then by all means, go back and keep adding more. Or you can even use a black if you want to. Okay, now I want a little bit more cream on the lid, so I'm just gonna take a clean E35 and back into that cream color and just pop that mostly in the inner third because we did cover a lot of it up with 
those are the different colors. Okay, now I'm gonna do a winged liner. I'm gonna use this brush, which I've been loving. It's the Line Perfector E68 from Sigma, and this is my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, and I'm gonna make a wing. Now you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. World is your pickle, my friend. You do you. So I'm probably gonna make a nice big wing because I'm gonna add some lashes to this as well, so I want it to kind of look balanced. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and I'm gonna clean right the um, inner corner. Sometimes the brush, especially this brush that I've been using, is a little bit bigger, so it can make things a little bit tricky. And I'm gonna take a makeup wipe, wrap it around my finger, and then just clean up that line, make it a little sharper if you need to, and clean up any excess color that, um, that kind of went down a little bit too far. I'm gonna apply a couple of coats of mascara. This is my Lash Blast. And then for lashes, I have some, I believe these are Ardell Wispies or Demi Wispies that I have trimmed and I used them once or twice already. So I'm gonna use those because at this point they're kind of like molded to my eye which makes things so much easier. So I'm gonna just do my mascara. By the way, I always wanna call it mascara. And now I'm gonna just pop on my lashes and do the rest of the face. Okay, we'll do the under uh, lash line in just a minute, but for now, I really wanna work on the rest of the face. I've already moisturized, and the primer I'm gonna use is my L'Oreal Miracle Blur. Ew, is that eyeliner on my, yeah, it's eyeliner. Look at me, ew. <laughs> I'm gonna pop some of this right where I know my pores are pretty large and in charge, which is right over here. By the way, how you like this guy? Ugh. For foundation, actually, let me move on to my corrector first, which is my Armani corrector. You can see my dark circles are looking a little bit better. I've been trying to sleep a bit more at night. In fact, last night, I went to bed at like 9.30. I fell asleep by 9.30 and I woke up at seven o'clock this morning, which Never happens. I usually go to bed really, really late and I'm up by like 6.30, but I didn't even put my alarm on last this morning because I was so exhausted and I just let myself like rest naturally and I felt like when my body was rested, it would just wake up naturally and I woke up at like 6.50, so beautiful. I feel so, so good this morning. For foundation, now in that video, Everyone asks, what's on your face? What kind of foundation are you using? And every time I use this, I get the same compliments, and it is my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love this foundation. It's really great coverage. It makes you look flawless, and um, I've just been using this for years, and I absolutely love it, and I, um, it's just the best foundation in the world. I am gonna make, this is in the color Tawny, which is still currently a little light for me. I also want a little bit of luminosity, so I'm mixing in my Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup in Warm Beige. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of this into this, and then I'm gonna apply it on my face and, and uh, blend it in with my Beauty Blender. Now applying this with a Beauty Blender will give you more of a sheer, like, like natural finish. If you apply this with a brush, like my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki, you will get a really, really full coverage finish. Um, but it's up to you, really. I think because this is such a beautiful finish foundation and I don't really have a whole lot to cover up, minus this fella right here, which I'm gonna have to do with a concealer, I'm gonna want to apply with my Beauty Blender and uh, really blend it into the skin. To cover up the fella between my eyes, I'm just using this NYX um, Full Coverage Concealer in the color beige but I don't like this concealer for under my eyes because it's very drying. So I'm just gonna pat that right there. And then for my under eyes, I'm gonna mix together my Maybelline Fit Me in Medium and Sand. I can't help but use this, guys. It's so good. It's taken my place in my uh, Instant Age Rewind, and that is, you guys know, that is saying a lot. So I'm gonna pop some of that. This is the medium color. And then I'm gonna follow it up with the lighter color. And for the lighter color, I'm gonna I'm going to um, highlight in a few other places as well, like my nose, forehead, right above my little friend. And then just blend everything in with my beauty blender. I just take 
the bigger side and with the more tapered side I do under my eyes. Okay, time to set everything. For my under eyes, I am using my NARS Light Reflecting Powder, setting powder in translucent, and this is a Sigma F35. And for the rest of my face, I'm using this fella. This is the True Blend CoverGirl Mineral Powder. Wowza! And this is a Kabuki brush from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna put some of that, that's a lie, no, but then take it into the cap and really swirl it in. And then just buff it all over the skin. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Kardashian Beauty Bronzer in Cabana Bronze. And I'm going to just focus on like these two colors right here to really contour. I don't need a lot of bronzing um, just because I just don't feel like I need any, so. Woo, how gorge. For blush, I am using my CoverGirl blush in Iced Cap. And that popped up right on. Okay, I wanna work on my lower lash line really quickly. I'm gonna take this brush, which is the Flat Definer brush from Sigma, and then I'm gonna take my Infallible one more time in the what color is this? I'll leave the color down below. And I'm gonna run this really close to my lower lash line, like really close to my lashes. I'm taking a pencil brush and then this like um, maroon matte color that we used. And I'm gonna smoke that out. I'm gonna highlight under the brow bone with that original cream color that we used all over the lid. I'm gonna highlight the inner corners a bit more as well. Okay. All right, I think I want to spray with some uh, setting spray. Just gonna blend together my falsies and my real lashes with some mascara. And let's move on to lips. I am going to outline my lips and fill them in a little bit in the corners with MAC, uh, not, that's not the one I wanted. I want MAC Oak. There it is. And then I'm gonna fill it in with this NYX Matte Cream, Lip Cream in Stockholm. And this is the finished look. I love, love, love the way you look. I put my hair half up, half down. What do you guys think? Anyway, I love this look. I feel like it's so pretty, fall appropriate, sultry, but really, really easy. And uh, it is incorporating those like burnt oranges and that deep purple, but I think in a more subtle way. So it's not so like bam in your face. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, I'm always, I really have been enjoying doing tutorials now, which used to be one of the things that I didn't love doing because when I first started, a lot of people were like, no, you should do it this way, you should do it that way. And there's so many great tutorials. Um, the great people that make tutorials on YouTube that I was kind of like a little bit nervous, but since you guys enjoy them so much, I am more than happy to bring them to you. So this is the final look. I will list everything. My hair is so frizzy. Look at me trying to rock this. I will list everything I used down below and I will see you soon. Bye.